I've been asked, what's better, a flared joint or a welder joint on your camper trailer and caravan for, for your gas installation? Well, I'll chat about that in this video today. G'day guys, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. All right, so I get a lot of questions about, you know, why I personally, all my jobs that I do, I try and weld the joints wherever I can, okay? So the only other option that you've got on a caravan is a flared fitting. Now, these are the fittings, these are called crimp fittings. Now, you can use these on, on standard houses, and I think they're really good. They are, I think they're, they're great, you don't use heat, they're very quick and easy, the, the fittings are expensive, but you save it on a, on a bit of time. Now, the only other option you've got um, on a caravan or a camper trailer is these flared fittings, okay? Or you weld them, but that's looked at a bit old school, right? I weld them because I can, and I think they are a far superior model, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So when you've got a, a T like this, when you flare the joint, what has to happen, okay, is you cut the pipe, you've got to stick it through the nut, and it comes out here, right? Now, you've got to deburr it, which is cool, and then I always heat up mine, uh, heat the copper up, and that anneals it, right, so it makes it soft again. And then I can flare it, and then I actually heat it up again if, if I need to do one of these joints to, to make it so it's really malle you know, malleable, I think the word is, is used. And so when, when it goes back on, see this 45 degree there? That the copper sticks on a 45 and it goes up and it presses against this bit of brass and then the nut inside's got a 45 on it as well and that gets screwed on with the copper in there and the flared and it jams, jams the joint together, okay? And that's where the seal happens. So it's copper on brass tightened up, that's when it seals. Now, you imagine when that's vibrating, even on standard houses, people pull their stoves out to clean it and push it back and then suddenly they can smell gas, it's because the flared had a bit of tension left or right or something and that's when it starts to leak. Now, <clears throat> on natural gas, that's, that's cool because, you know, it's sort of, it's not cool, but natural gas rises and you can smell it. But with LPG, it's heavier than gas, so it actually sinks, okay, and sits in low, low areas. Now, if one of these under your camper trailer, that can leak, it goes on the ground, you could empty your bottle out, no worries overnight sort of stuff. Now we've, even when the people on um, town gas, uh, sorry, on, the, on you know, those big, big bottles, the LPG, that they get changed over all the time, even the guys that, if they handle the pipe a bit too rough, sometimes that cracks a joint and they wake up and there's no gas anymore and the whole bottle's been, been blown off into the atmosphere, okay, wasting a lot of money. So that's why I don't rate these joints. If I can get away with it, I'd rather weld. Now welding's harder, okay, because you've got to, Using heat, you could burn stuff. It's it's yeah a little bit more annoying, but I think the finish looks so much better. Like and also, you can fold up. You know, like it, often I grab a bit of cardboard, draw out exactly what I need to need to do, bend it all up in the one hit, and then if I can grab that whole section and weld it up outside in the vise or something, and then pop it under. And the last, you know, I might have to have three more joints that I've got to weld in place. But there's ways to protect the the wood floor or the sides of it that or the wires and stuff so you're not gonna you know cop any heat what what's what is good about it too is when you do it up in one section like that whenever you have a, a, a flare joint you've got to have these massive nuts now when you do it all in one section you can use this this is the the stuff that i like to use um the sleeving it's fully rounded okay like yeah full round fully enclosed and you can slide that onto your pipe okay and then you just leave a little section about that that far away so you still can weld it up and then you cool it off so it doesn't melt. And then this last little section, you can use the split tubing, okay? It's got a bit of a split in it, and you can see that you can put a T and it can go over a T like that, okay? And you can cable tie it on there. So it looks really neat, still protects it. Now with the flared fitting, I mean, you need to have a massive, a massive one of these to sort of protect it. You know, these can cop the rocks and stuff, but again, the rock's knocking it. That's what, you know, cops the flare. So that's why I like to weld them. I haven't seen anyone else do it, or even on the vans that come out, like the road vans with the road road ones, yeah, flares are right, you're not going to rattle, 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 you know, that much, but if if you've got an off-road camper trailer or, or caravan, and you go to, even Ningaloo Station is pretty rough, you know, um, Gibber River Road, all that sort of gear, rattling underneath, you know. So I'll give you an example, this this King's Adventure MT1 camper that they've, um, that they've just brought out, I've just done a gas, um, put three bayonets on this one, put in a, a hot plate here as well with a, like a quick connect. I've got another video on that one. Um, so if you want to check that out. Now, if I was, I've used, you know, welded all the tees and it looks looks great. Bent all the pipe up in the one go, you know, sleeved it all. It looks, yeah, it looks really good. It looks pretty professional. And 
I've only got two joints, one for the regulator, okay, that goes under the regulator, which is very easy to check. You can smell it because you're opening bottles up in, in the future, you know, so you can smell it quickly, you'll get onto it quickly, you're not blowing a you know, bottle when you're out, you know, four days away from anything. Um, and also, the other one is underneath the hot plate here, okay, so you've got to have one, you've got to have one under, underneath the hot plate because you've got to be able to disconnect it and take it away to service it or replace it in, in the future. So you, you can't, you, sometimes you need flares, which is fine, you've you got to have them. But if I went down the flared option with all the joints, I would need something like 11, 11 of these flared joints, okay? So each bayonet would need one, so that's three, okay? Because I've got three on this one, one for the joker, one for a marine barbecue, and one for the cooker, right? Um, you've got two T's, that's another three for each one of those, and we're up to nine now, okay? Then you've got one for the regulator, 10, one for the hot plate, which is 11, okay? So just by welding it, taking a bit more time, it's more difficult, you need a little bit more skill to do it, it's, it's you know, brought that down to two, which is so so usable, so much better, and you know, you, you see what I'm talking about. But if you do have a gas plumber that's going to do some work and adding bayonets and stuff like that, um, even if you just add a normal bayonet, you'll you'll need at least four four of these joints in there. But you can get rid of them and not have any, which is which is a good thing. Okay. So anyway, I hope that's uh, helpful, made things a bit clearer. And uh, yeah, check out my YouTube channel. I've got plenty uh, of, of other stuff that I've done on, on campus and stuff. I love getting out there with the kids and that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I really appreciate it. See you later.